Well, so yeah, from keeping up with the Kardashians to keeping up with a healthy lifestyle, Cindy Chin, Woolworths Dietitian, joins us here to talk about the fact that over the festive season, most of us might have indulged, even overindulged, put on a couple of extra kilos, and now we need to find a way of making healthier food choices, right? But when we think about that, is it really that bad that, you know, we picked up weight over the festive season? It is if you don't do anything about it. So um, globally what we found is that most people tend to pick up two to three kilos over the festive season. Two to three <laughs> kilograms, my word. And if you don't do anything about it, eventually year after year, you've gone up a clothes size or two and then you have a weight problem. That's very true. Yeah. But how serious is the problem in South Africa from, from that it's context? It's actually worse than we would hope. It's two thirds of women in South Africa are either overweight or obese. Yeah. A third of men are overweight or obese and a fifth of preschoolers struggle with a weight issue as well. So we're wow. not faring very well on the obesity scale. Especially when you think about preschoolers because you know this is something that affects the quality of your life as well going forward. And if you start having the problem at such a young age, then it becomes a massive problem. So where do we start curbing this weight gain? So I think you know obesity is such a complex um, condition and it affects, you know, you it increases risk for cancer, diabetes, heart disease. So we really do need to look at ways to improve our lifestyles and start at home with mm -hmm. the whole family. So the first thing is to come up with a clear strategy and plan and look at and uh, reassess your cupboards and your eating habits and all the problem areas. You're smiling. <laughs> no, no, you sound, like, you sound like a football coach just planning <laughs> for the team. You okay, have to Dad, get the milk. Son, get the water. <laughs> exactly. Okay. It has to be a strategic plan. Otherwise, you land up just defaulting to whatever's in the fridge yeah. or whatever's in the, the grocery cupboard and you land up going into the same old bad eating habits. Exactly. So for me, the, one of the things is looking at, say, snacking, for instance. Are your kids snacking? Are healthy snacks available in the house? Mm -hmm. And the first thing is to make it visually um, appealing accessible, easy mm -hmm. to eat. So like yeah. having cut up vegetables ready on the table with, uh, well, in the fridge, um, easy, uh, healthy dips like a hummus, uh, vegetables and fruits that are easy to peel and, you know, that mm -hmm. you don't have to fuss too much yes, about yes. it. And make it the default or easy choice. So it's mm -hmm. mindless eating. Take us through some of the practical uh, options that you've brought here for us. So I've put on the, like crudités, for instance, which are, you know, they, if you don't have time to cut and peel and wash and everything before, um, you know, like for every snack and meal, mm -hmm. then have it ready in the fridge available for kids just to help themselves. And at, that le at their level, so they can actually get it out the fridge themselves. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yogurt, for instance, we often default to like a, a fruit flavored yogurt, but try a plain yogurt with a fruit puree, like a fresh fruit puree. Okay. Or berries and nuts and dried fruit. And that's yes, because the sweetness to, is there. Yes, it's the exactly. Option so natural there. sweetness, even some chopped dates. And then try and make every mouthful as nutrient dense as possible, especially for little tummies that mm -hmm. can't fit a lot. So you don't want to fill them up with, with junk food. Mm. Um, so like uh, crackers, for instance, instead of going for a refined flour cracker, go for a seed cracker that's more nutrient dense. Yeah. So little tips like that, just find little tweaks. You, you'll be amazed at the difference it can actually make yeah. to, to your family's lifestyle. And I'm sure making simple swaps as well, like instead of always having fizzy drinks available, yes, maybe exactly. have a juice or make your own homemade iced tea. Yes, or water that's got um, mint and cucumber and berries in it. The kids love that. Mm -hmm. My kids always ask for that sort of thing at home. And water becomes their, their choice beverage. Yeah. But t tell me about this, because uh, what, if, what if little kids at home are now saying, no, mommy, I want to have that, but you know that it's unhealthy. How do you kind of train your kids so, to <laughs> have cheat days or remember, something? You're the adult, you're the parent, and it's your role, especially when they're little, to guide them to healthier choices. And don't have a battle about it, but gradually change them to it. So my, my little one, really, she loved juice all the time, and I thought, okay, this is a habit I have to change. So I was always diluting it half and half, half water, half juice yes. from the start. Mm -hmm. and I gradually just started diluting it to like just a splash, it's a flavor, and eventually now she's on water wow. all the time. So gradually, don't like suddenly go from juice to water, mm -hmm. but just gradually make it fun, exciting, get their buy-in, and then eventually it becomes a habit. Yeah, you well, don't have to buy it anymore. Kidding. Very, very good kids at home, but thank you so, so much, Cindy. <laughs>